Hello everyone. So, um, as you can see behind me, my phasers are gone. Um, so, I wanted to talk about um, some upcoming changes to the channel. Uh, due to a very disturbing um, event, um, uh, an event of domestic violence against myself, um, I am moving to, uh, to preserve my own safety. Um, I grew up having to deal with violence and the threat of violence as a kid and uh, in one way or another it's it's continued throughout my life and um, you know if you've ever encountered a, a dog or a cat or some kind of animal who's been abused by people um, you know they're kind of they don't trust people and they you know they have um, a lot of difficulties uh, trusting people and, and all that kind of stuff and that's me um, you'll notice that I don't give my name on this channel uh, you'll notice that I don't you know there's a lot of things I don't do um, I never tell anyone where I actually am, um, you know, where I really live, or now, you know, past tense, lived. So, um, yeah, that's part of that. That, and I don't want to, you know, you know, I, I talk about politics and people on the internet, you know, if they disagree with you, um, even when you're right, um, you know, they take all that shit personally, and they try to hurt you in real life, and I don't need that shit. I've got enough problems in my life. So, um, after six years of abuse, I decided, you know, that this final incident was enough. Um, it, it got to the point where I had to call the police. Um, I had talked with uh, the local domestic violence service before, and they weren't very helpful, but they told me to document everything, and I did that. Um, I did get a video of the entire incident. And, um, you know, domestic violence, abuse, people tend to think it's just physical. But the verbal abuse mental emo and emotional distress um, is abuse as well and um, this this time the threat of violence was very much real and yes I did catch it on video and yes I will be posting it at some point um, even though the person who uh, was doing the abuse um, threatened me and said well I got a lawyer and you can't use my likeness, and it's like, well, um, yeah, I went and got my own lawyer, and there is no, um, my name doesn't appear anywhere in the court system, so they didn't file jack shit, so, um, I'm gonna post the video, because it's important for me that, um, that people know, you know, not just what I've been going through for the past six years, but they know this person's face and what they're capable of. And I know things about this person. I, I know they're willing to go to great lengths to, um, to get what they want. Um, and, yeah, anyway, um... So the past two weeks have been extremely difficult for me. Um, lost about 10 pounds. 
um, at one point um, because of all the stress and um, trying to find a place out here in the Pacific Northwest is like it's like going up to people's door and getting punched in the face every single time you know um, it's just it's it's a it's a horrific nightmare to try and find housing here in fact the housing is so bad we we have a lot of homeless people here because the cost of housing is exponentially increasing and yet the um, wages are not increasing equally along with the cost of living so there's this great disparity and uh, it's not just here but it's here especially because excuse me I'm all sniffly but um, we we've had a lot of um, big corporations move in here and we've had a lot of people from other states drive up the cost of housing and all this other shit and um, so for those of us who were born and raised here we're getting forced out um, and I know some stupid piece of shit out there is thinking well just make more money well Jesus Christ it's like I've talked about personally with with individuals I've said I've talked about the problems that I've had here you know um, where I've been living and they say well just move and it's like what fucking planet are you living on it obviously if I could have just moved um, I would have done so already I mean, I've been trying on and off for six years, you know, but the, the situation, the housing situation here is so bad that just searching for housing in itself is depressing. There are so many scam artists out there, you know, literally people in other parts, in other states or other countries putting up ads and saying, well, um, you can, you know, I'll, I'll, um, I'll show you the house, but you have to do this background check through this website, and it'll only cost you a dollar. Well, that dollar doesn't... It's like, oh, come on, dude. You know, and that's 90% of the ads out here, you know? Um, and then there's um, uh, discrimination, because I'm trans, you know? So, 90% scammers... Um, and 9% um, discrimination. I mean, there's still discrimination in that 90%, but those, the, you know, those other, they're just scammers. You know, they they have nothing to offer. Um, so it's like, yeah, trying to find housing. I mean, there are housing groups that are devoted specifically to queer people because it's so hard for us to find housing. Even out here in the liberal you know, uh, haven that is the Pacific Northwest. Um, and so I, it, it's been a hard two weeks. I haven't slept much. Um, and when I do sleep, I don't sleep well. And it's funny, you know, before this whole thing started, like the day before it started, I actually had a nightmare, which kind of foretold everything. Like I, I saw it, and I felt it. It was very strange. I, it's not the first dream I've had that kind of that did that, um, where I kind of got these glimpses of of things to come. I don't know why it happens to me, but it does happen sometimes. Um, so I yeah I finally had enough and 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 I called the police and I. On, on this asshole, and I knew that this asshole's ego would not be able to handle that, that he would he would do anything he could to try to hurt me. He's a vindictive psychopath, and um, he surrounds himself with other psychopaths. And um, and he, he threatened me with eviction, and I, I knew it. I knew it was coming, so um, I went out there and I... I contacted every fucking person I could to try and find housing and uh, of course that's where I figured out my 90% you know scammer um, number 
because it's from experience, um, the, the number of actual real human beings who, who got back to me was um, three. And I had to, I contacted over a hundred. So, yeah, probably more than 90%. Um, but, um, I, I mean, like those three people, only two of them did I feel comfortable with. One of them was a male and he lived alone and it was a room he was renting out and I was kind of like, you know, I'm not saying that all men are, are you know, um, rapists or, or, or whatever, um, but the majority of people who are, you know, charged with rape are, are male. And you just, you never know, you know. Um, but he was like my last desperate option. Um, but thankfully, um, I heard back from someone. Um, two people that I contacted, um, which is really cool when they do this, um, specifically put in their ad that, um, well, one of them put LGBTQIA plus um, uh, friendly. And it's always nice when they put that in there so that you know. You know, it, it circumvents all the bullshit. You know, you don't have to guess. You don't have to... You don't have to tell people. Because if you don't tell people, it's... I've found it's more... It makes things harder. Um, I've had... I've contacted people. And, um... They heard me talk. And then... I gave them my name. And, uh... And, you know, before I gave them my name, they were like, Oh, yeah, you know, the room is this, the room is that. And when I gave them my name suddenly the room wasn't available anymore. Yeah. America is a shithole. Um, I, I keep hoping, like, you know, Russia's just gonna, like, you know, nuke the planet. I mean, I don't want all those kids to die, and I don't want all those animals to die, but everybody else, mm, I'm kind of okay with that, because this whole thing is collapsing. Anyway, um... Again, you know, like the animal that's been abused. I'm kind of like, yeah, fuck everybody. But um, one person put that they were queer friendly, and then the other one, um, it was a house and seven roommates. And I was like, oh, God, I don't want to deal with seven people. Um, and uh, But they, they put in their ad, the way they worded it, it was clear that they were... They were looking for a female housemate, um, but they made it clear that they were open to a uh, trans housemate as well. And it wasn't badly worded, you know, it was, it was, um, it was good. And those were my two real options. Um, I, you know, I, I m contacted so many people I couldn't keep everybody straight. And, um... At one point, this, this person contacted me, and, and I looked at their ad, and they were really far away, and I was kind of like, oh, I don't want to have to drive all the way down there. I damn sure don't want to have to live there. Um, but um, I knew these assholes here would eventually go through the legal process of trying to evict me, and I didn't want to have to deal with that either. Um, I just, and I wanted to just leave on my own. You know, I, I'm, I'm tired of this shit. I'm not going to deal with with being abused anymore, you know, I don't deserve it, um, so, um, but this, you know, this person got back to me, I was like, eh, I don't know, um, there, there were some, some things in the ad that just kind of were red flags to me, not big ones, but, you know, but then I, I talked with her on the phone, and she sounded really nice, and I was like, oh, she sounds really nice. Um, I was like, so that's that's a positive. Um, you can kind of tell when you talk with someone if you know if they're nice or not. Um, some people are very curt, you know, they're very short and they're very you know blunt.
blunt, and it's like, well, you seem like kind of an asshole, you know, and, um, and I don't want to have to deal with an asshole. I'm already dealing with assholes, you know, all over the place. So, um, so we, we decided to, to meet up, and, and, um, I was gonna, well, I was gonna go to, to her place, and, um, met her, and, you know, it's kind of like an interview, you know, you're just kind of feeling each other out, asking questions, that kind of thing, um, <laughs> and we, um, we wound up talking for, I think it was four and a half hours, just talking about everything, just life as well, you know, and I, I like to be completely honest and, and tell people my situation, you know, so that they, we all have a, a firm understanding of, you know, of, of what our mutual situations are, so that we can make informed decisions, and, um, and it was great, she was great, and she, she was really nice, uh, genuinely, and down to earth, and, and kind, you know, and, and, um, so it was just like, it, it was, she, and she actually said to me, you know, we, we, after we've been talking for a while, she says, I like you, and, um, I said, I like you too, and, um, it was like, wow, finally, I caught a fucking break, you know, after getting punched in the face, you know, 10,000 times, I, you know, there's one person who didn't punch me in the fucking face, um, so, yeah, I'm moving, and it's far away, I didn't want to move this far away, um, I'm gonna have to get a new doctor, um, I'm going to have to find a new hairstylist, which is going to be awful. Um, it's, I'm going to have two roommates, kind of three, um, but mainly two. Um, and we're all going to be living, like, in the upstairs of this house, and so it's, one of them works nights, and sometimes she can get kind of noisy at night on her nights off, but, um, yeah, it's, I've met everyone, and, and I, I'm fairly certain that they're not going to violently attack me, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be pushed into calling the police um, when dealing with these people, um, so, yeah, but because I'm going to be in a roommate situation, in a house, I don't know uh, what the channel's going to look like. I don't know what my videos are going to look like. I don't, I mean, I've seen the room, you know, uh, um, of course, but I mean, like, am I going to be doing the videos in the room? And am, am I going to be doing the videos in my car? Am I, I don't know. Um, so, yeah. Um, So that's, that's that, and this trailer is going to be going up for sale, um, thankfully I do own it, so I can, you know, I can get something for it, hopefully, I mean, I'm not going to give it away, of course, you know, but, yeah, so, that's what I've been dealing with, um, you, you know, by the time you see this video, it's probably going to be long. You know, this thing, well, I would have already moved, you know. Um, but there are a lot of questions, and I don't know what's going to be happening, so. Um, just wish me luck. Um, if you guys want to support me on Patreon, that can really help me out. Um, and uh, the link is in the description. And, yeah, anyway, um, I kind of wanted to leave the, the, to end the video with, you know, saying, well, you know, if you're dealing with domestic violence, you know, 
do your best to, to leave, and it's like, you know, it's hard sometimes. Um, sometimes you think there, there aren't any options, and my options, I, I'm actually paying a lot more um, in this new place for rent, and so I have a lot less money to deal with, even less than I had. So it's kind of like, you know, I'm not going to be doing much. <laughs> so, and and th that's the trade-off, I guess, for my own safety, is to, is to have less money, you know. You know, I contacted so many organizations to try and get help, you know, with with anything, just getting out of here, um, getting away from this shit, and, you know, there are so many of these charitable, charity, you know, um, 501c, whatever, organizations that amount to nothing. They get all this money in donations. And then when it comes to helping actual people, they just give you phone numbers to other organizations. And you try to contact someone through their website, and their website hasn't been updated in, you know, 10 years, and yet they're collecting all this money from donors. Where is it going? It's not going to, to the people that they're supposed to be helping, that they claim they're helping, you know. I don't trust any of these fucking charitable organizations. Of the, all of the ones that I've had to deal with, I've never found one that's actually been useful or helpful in any way. Um, I, they're just a fucking scam, as far as I can tell. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, domestic violence, what a fucking joke. Domestic violence, they just said, call the police. I fucking did, and they wouldn't do anything. You know? Half the time when I call the fucking cops, the fucking cops won't even look at me, let alone fucking talk to me. You know? Because most fucking cops are fucking conservatives. Conservatives become cops so they can have fucking control over people they don't like and discriminate and hurt people they don't like. That's why cops are fucking dropping like flies, dying from fucking COVID, you know? Because they're mostly conservatives. Um, and those idiots won't wear masks or get vaccinated. <laughs> but yeah, America's a fucking joke. Bastion of freedom, bull fucking shit. Now you look at the actual statistics, and America, by its own grading system is a third world country. Um, no, I didn't get fucking help from anybody. The only person who helped me was me. And that's the way it's always been. You try to get fucking help from, from any of these fucking... Any of these fucking groups, no fucking way. And, and... I called so many fucking community groups, this group, that group, this group, that group, and all I got were phone numbers. And a lot of not returned calls, unreturned calls. You call one place, oh, here's the phone number for this place, you call that place, oh, here's the phone number for the place you just called. Wow. <laughs> what a fucking circle jerk. You know? It's all fucking bullshit. All of it. It's, it's bullshit. If you've got a job and you're fucking working all the time, I mean, what do you have to fucking show for it, you know? The company will fucking fold and, and all your fucking pension is fucking gone and, 
and your pension got absorbed by the new company and or just was taken outright by the CEOs and all this other shit. It's just, it's all bullshit. It's a house of fucking cards and it's crumbling. There's a better way to live. Better way to do things. You know. Our political system, our capitalist system, is like my abusive roommates. They're punching you in the face every second of every fucking day. You know. Unless you, unless your parents were rich and you were able to go to fucking college, or you played some fucking sport or some fucking shit like that and you got some kind of fucking scholarship, um, you're not going to make any fucking money, you know? And this whole fucking system is going to fuck you in the ass until you're dead, you know? I mean, ask all those fucking soldiers who got fucking cancer, you know, because they were exposed to fucking burn pits. What's the fucking United States doing for them? I'll go to the VA. <laughs> you know? Um, this whole fucking system is punching you in the goddamn face every second of every fucking day. Everybody is fucking everybody else for money. You know, those fucking scammers that I encountered looking for a fucking place to live were the same type of fucking assholes who would run a fucking hotline to help people. And the only thing the hotline does is refer people to other hotlines. Eventually, the human beings on the bottom, and the bottom is getting, you know, the number of people at the bottom is, is ever increasing. Eventually, those people are going to be in the same position that I'm in right now, where you just got punched in the face one too many times, and you said, that's it, I'm not taking anymore. I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm leaving. That's what people need to collectively do. You need to realize how you're getting fucked. I mean, unless you're born into fucking wealth, you're not going to fucking have anything. Or you get fucking lucky winning the fucking lottery. You know? Um or you fucking know somebody, or some fucking bullshit like that. Um, no. People, people need to take back control. Fucking politicians aren't working for you. They're working for their rich fucking donors. You know? It's domestic violence, it's abuse, systemic abuse. And yes, it affects minorities, but it also affects everybody, you know, um, to varying degrees, but everybody is getting fucked in this system with this money, where money is the only thing that matters, you know, fucking people over, killing people, it doesn't really matter, you know, the U.S. government kills people kills its own soldiers. Burn pits and, and fucking troops uh, handling amu you know, munitions that are made from depleted uranium. And those fucking troops are dying. United States government oh, oh, oh. you gave us your life when you signed up for the military. No, that's not a fair trade. Especially given what those motherfuckers are being paid. And, you know, when they're fucking dying and they can't fucking breathe and they're on a fucking ventilator most of their fucking lives, well, they get a few hundred grand, if they're lucky, to be a part of some class action lawsuit. That's all coming from taxpayers paying that. 
because the U.S. government hurt them. It's this giant fucking cycle, and it's like it's never going to be broken because because people are making money. <laughs> people are people just. We have more power if we work together, is what I'm saying. There is a better way to live. There's a better way to do things. Just like there is for me. There's a better place to be in life. Anyway, I guess that's the way I'm going to end this. Um, don't know what the future of the channel is going to look like. I'm not going away. Um... But, you know, it might change. Um, maybe I'll just, I'll, I'll definitely just have a different location. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Um, if you stick around, thanks for sticking around. If you watch to the end, congratulations. Um, I appreciate that too. Um, yeah. Bye for now.